this week's Parsha, Parsha Tzlach, Moshe sends out 12 distinguished members of the nation to scout out the land so that they can see what the situation is and come back with a plan. Um, and they come back and their report starts out fine, even good. The land flows with milk and honey and good things. But then they use this word FS, which means but. And of course, but nullifies all the good they said beforehand. And they say, but there are giants inhabiting all the land and they, we were like grasshoppers in our eyes and so we were in theirs and they're gonna kill us by sword and take our children captive. And they ex grossly exaggerated um, based on small bits of truth. And they caused fear and panic in the nation and they cried all through the night and this was a sin. Now, the reason why they did this was because the, their, you know, people's perception makes the reality and these were people with a slave mentality that were still suffering from years of bondage and slavery in Egypt and that's understandable. It's understandable that they'd have fears and concerns. And I don't think God expects more from people than they, they can do. So it would be all right for them to have fear and to even voice their concerns. But after the, God's track record, having plucked them out of Egypt after doing the 10 Makot and the 10 plagues and um, letting, leaving them with an out, leaving them out with an outstretched arm, and doing all the miracles, splitting the sea, the revelation at Sinai, they should already have a little faith in God to know that if He says they'll be successful in entering the land, they'll be successful entering the land. And um, even if they have that fear, they should keep it in a proportionate manner. But to give way to exaggerating and to let it escalate to the point of uh, hysteria and where they cry all through the night and where they wanted to stone Yehoshua and Kalev and kill them because they were pointing out um, the good points that they can make it, they can do it, and they weren't even willing to hear anything positive. Now that is in our control that we can manage. Um, and I think that the lesson is, is that, you know, we all have our challenges, we all have our fears, but we should recognize them as they are. Um, people tend to exaggerate and this feeds on itself and things get worse and worse until we're in the point of, of panic and hysterical and ir irrational. And then we cause our own demise, like, the Miraglim, the spies, caused themselves not to enter the land because they thought they couldn't enter the land. And, you know, God can only do so much for us. Um, they had to take the steps um, to go, literally. And just, just they couldn't do it. They didn't want to do it. Um, and we don't want to be the cause of our own demise. So just recognize your fears, name them, call them, keep them to what they are and overcome. We have God in us. We can, we have um, strengths and abilities that far supersede our own expectations. Uh, just know that, keep that in mind and yalla, move on with life, make your good decisions, go forward. Shabbat Shalom.